Hi, this is Heather from the Purdue Writing Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some basic tenets of online tutoring sessions. Online sessions are synchronous appointments that allow tutors and clients to chat together in real time. To be able to give you a better idea of how to get started with your online sessions, I'm going to be showing you parts of two different online appointments. To get started, I'm going to take a look at my WCO online schedule. I can tell that I have an online appointment because my appointment box appears as a dark red color. If I go ahead and click in on the appointment, I can see my client's report form. And again, I can tell that I have an online appointment because it's indicated at the top of the client report form. From here, I have the option to start or join the online chat where I can talk to my client in real time, but I'll do that in a second. First, I'm going to make sure that I know my client's preferred name, and I'm also going to get a sense of what my client hopes to achieve during the session. I can also see in the client report form that my client has gone ahead and uploaded a document for us to look at together during our session. It's important to note that sometimes during online sessions, clients will choose not to share a document with the tutor before the session actually begins, and that's totally okay. The client will have the option to share the document once the actual session begins. To join the conversation with my client, I'm going to scroll up to the top of my client report form, and I'm going to click on the Start or Join online consultation link. As you can see, online appointments are broken into two main sections, the text feature and the shared whiteboard space. On the right-hand side of the screen, we have the chat feature, where tutors and clients can exchange brief messages with one another. As a default, this chat offers real-time updates, meaning that whenever a client or a tutor types here, everyone in the chat will be able to see what you're typing as you're typing it. If you want to turn off this feature and to allow users to only see your messages once you've chosen to send them into the chat, you're welcome to do so by unchecking this Send Real-Time Chat Updates box. You will be able to see who is in the chat by viewing the icon on the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Because I am the only person in this chat right now, I can see a number one next to the icon. If two people were in the chat, I would see a number two and so on. If I go ahead and click on the user icon, I can see everyone who's in the chat. I also have the option of adjusting the way that my name appears in the chat, and I can also change the color assigned to me. Shifting our attention to the shared whiteboard space, this feature offers a way for clients and tutors to upload files and to copy and paste their documents. Here we can also type together to pose suggestions, ask questions, and brainstorm ideas. Everything we type here will be shared in real time, and each comment will be color-coded for each user. For example, my assigned color in this chat is blue, so my comments will appear in blue both in the chat and in the shared whiteboard space. In order to share a document, clients and tutors can use the arrow icon. Here we can import a file to begin the session, and at the end of the session we can also export a version of our conversation to save onto our own individual computers. In my experience, many clients will opt to simply copy and paste their document directly onto the shared whiteboard space. This is what it looks like when they do so. As you can see, the amount of highlighted text is a little bit overwhelming to the eye. We can easily remedy this by selecting the text and clearing the highlight. We can do this by pressing the clear authorship colors icon. From here, we have a clean document to work from, and all of our comments will appear with fresh highlighting. So you all can be able to see a session happening in real time. You can see that I'm in a session with one of my clients. My name appears here, and all of my comments are coded in blue. 
Her name appears here and all of her comments will appear in purple. So as you can see, we've been talking back and forth in the shared white space as well in the text box. And we've also gone ahead and uploaded some of her document. We're working on a rough draft together, and right now we're in the brainstorming phase. If you would like to revisit your session after it ends, you will be able to access your work by re-entering the chat via WCO. You can also see a playback recording of the session by clicking on the time slider icon. The time slider icon will allow you to see the comments exchanged during the session in the order that they appeared. I also find it helpful to encourage my clients to save a version of our session by clicking on the arrows icon and exporting a version of our session onto their computer. To return to the regular session page, click the return to pad icon. If you are new to online sessions, please consider checking out the toolbar icon. This will take you to a page full of troubleshooting tips and tricks. Don't despair and hang in there. I'm wishing you all the best of luck on your sessions. Take care.